Hi, this is Mrs. Robertson, and today we are going to be doing polygons or polygons on the coordinate plane. You should have your worksheet out in front of you now, and I would, it looks like this on one side and this on the other. This is the side I want you to have in front of you for right now, and it says, um, this is really going to be our notes section, and then we're going to practice graphing um, different shapes and finding their area. And sometimes we'll find its perimeter. It says you can use coordinates of a figure to find the dimensions by finding the distance between two points. To find the distance between two points with the same x coordinate, subtract the y coordinates. To find the distance between two points that have the same y coordinates, you subtract the x coordinates. Now, let's graph these shapes that we have here. Uh, if I'm going too fast at any time, you may put the, you can pause this video and get yourself caught up as you are watching this video. Okay, number one. A is over 3, up 6. Over 3, up to 6, put a dot, and that is point A. B is 9, 3, over 9, up 3. And C is over 5, up 3. Now we will connect the dots. And this shape forms a triangle. Okay, so the classification, triangle. The area of a triangle, let's write the formula, area equals base times height divided by two. Now make sure you have all of this written on your paper and do so as neatly as possible. Okay, now we're going to find the area of this triangle. Well, we have to take the base times the height. Well, this is going to be our base. Okay, and that side is 4. B equals 4. Now, the height is just a little trickier. We're going, it's a perpendicular height from the highest point down to where the base is. So, it has to come straight down. There we go. Now, I'm going to highlight it in green. This is your height. This distance here is your height. It's the distance from the top of the triangle down to where the base would be found. And let's see, that is 3. The base equals 3. Now we can find the area of this triangle. Let's do our substitution. Area equals 4 times 3 divided by 2. Area equals 12 divided by 2. 6 units squared. Now let's go to problem number 2. D, negative 1, negative 1. Left 1, down 1. That is point D. E, left 1, if it's negative, you go left. Positive, you go up. So this one was left and down. So left 1, up 3. That is point E. We're going to go right 2, up 4. Right 2, up 4. That is F. And G, right 2, down negative 3. This is point G. We haven't really talked about this shape. This is a trapezoid, kids. All right. And let's identify it as a trapezoid. Now, there is a formula for the trapezoid, and I'm going to give it to you now. 
the area of a trapezoid. We're going to do this shape more when I come back on Wednesday. The area of a trapezoid is one half the height times B1 plus B2. All right, so on this, let's go ahead and do the formula and substitute. The height, again, is the distance from the top to the bottom, okay? So this is going to be your height. The B1 and B2 are the two sides that are parallel. This side is parallel to this side, all right? So I'm going to call this one B1 and this one B2. Now we're going to do the substitution. Oh, and just so you know, this is the height. So we're going to take one half of the height, which is three, one half of three, and then we're going to add this side and this side. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one, two, three, four. Write that down. You are allowed to use a calculator, but you have to show your work on these worksheets. Half of 3 will be 1.5. 1 1.5 1 .5 times 11. Well, when you multiply 1.5 times 11, you can use your calculator, and you will get... 16.5. So the area of this shape is 16.5 units squared. Okay? All right. Sorry about the trapezoid problem. We hadn't practiced that before I left. Um, but we, as I said, we will practice trapezoids again later. But you have everything that you can write down. It's right there for you. Now let's go on to problem number three. In problem number three it says, graph each rectangle with the given vertices. Then find the perimeter of each rectangle and we're going to add and the area. So we're going to find the perimeter and the area of each one of these shapes. Okay, let's begin. You're going to go right three and you're not going to go up or down, you're just going to stay at the 3. 3, 0 is right here, letter H. You're going to go right 3, up 7. You always start at the origin. Right 3, up 7, that is I. For J, you're going to go right 6, up 7. Right 6, up 7. And K, you just go over 6 and stay there. So to 0. Now we will connect our points. Okay, so the perimeter, you add all the sides. 3, 3. This side is 7, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this side's going to be 7. So 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7. And that will give you the sum of 20 units. Perimeter is not squared. It will just be units. Area, length times width. 3 times 7. 21 units squared. Now let's go to number 4. Left 3, down 2. Left 3, down 2, L. Left 3, up 2, M. Right 2, up 2. 
in. Right to, down to, O. Connect the dots. And let's see, what do we have here for our base? One, two, three, four, five. And our height, or it could be length and width. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the perimeter. Five plus five plus four plus four. Add all the sides. So the perimeter will equal 18 units. Area. Length times width. Four times five. Twenty units squared. All right. You can put this on pause if you need more time. Now let's go on to problem number five. In problem number five, it says Annika is hiking on a rectangular trail at the National Park. There are four resting spots along the corners of the trail. On the map, they are marked with the coordinates negative 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, negative 2, and negative 2, negative 2. If each unit represents one mile, find the perimeter of the trail in miles using the coordinates. Well, let's use the technique that they gave us up at the top to find the distance. In this problem, they both have the same y. How far is it from a negative 2 to a 1? From a negative 2 to 0 is 2, and then from a 1 is 1 more. So that distance is 3. In the next problem, Again, we have our y's are alike. In this one, let's see, I'll circle it in pink. You have negative 2 and negative 2. So what is different here are our x. How far is it from 1 to negative 2? Again, that distance is 3. We're finding the perimeter, so we are going to be adding. Now, we need to find... Okay, this gets a little messy. In this one, they both have the same x, but their y is different. How far is it from a 2 to a negative 2? That's right, it's going to be 4. And it says it's a rectangular trail. So if two sides are 3, the other two sides are going to be 4. Because um, here... If you compare the this one, they both have negative 2. How far is it from 2 to negative 2? That's where you get the other 4. Add them together, 14 miles. Now, do you have to do it that way? No. You could just draw a grid like this. Negative 2, 2, 1, 2, one negative 2, and negative 2, negative 2. And then you would say, how far is this point from this one? Well, you would say 2, and then another 2, that is 4. This one, 2, and another 2, that is 4. Here, to go from this point to this point, negative 2 to there is negative 2, and that is 1. So that is 3. Negative 2 and a 1, 3. So that would just be another way of doing it. The 3 didn't really show up that much. That's a 3, a 3. 2 plus 1, 
2 plus the 1, and that's how we get the 3. All right. Now let's go to the other side of the worksheet. I'm not going to do all of them uh, with you, but I'm just going to do a couple of them. Um, for problems 1 and 2, what I want you to do is find the perimeter and find the area. So on the 1 and 2, find the perimeter and then also find the area. And these are rectangles, so the area is going to equal length times width on both of these. So plot your points and then do your substitution and your answer. All right? In 3 and 4, find the area of each figure in square units. This is a parallelogram. You're going to use the formula area equals base times height. Write that down. Then you're going to do your substituting. Area equals something times something, or use the parentheses, and then your answer equals something units squared. Okay? Now, in number four, to find the area, you can just count your point, count the squares. And that one, that one's going to be pretty easy. You could also break it up into two groups. This group was, would be 5 by 6. And if you do 6 times 5, that equals 30. And then you've got this little group. Add them together, and that will give you the answer. I've given you way too much information on that one. Okay, number 5. I'm going to put a star by number 5. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what we're going to be graphing is a trapezoid. So let's get ready to do this problem together. Are you ready? All right, let's begin. Negative 4, 4. Left 4, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, up 4. Put your dot A. B is 2, 1. Right 2, up 1, point B. C is 2, negative 1. Right 2, down 1, C. D is negative 4, left, and negative 1, down. Left 4, down 1, D. Now we're going to connect the dots. All right, this is a trapezoid. We're going to put our information over here. Trapezoid. Now, on this one, we're going to just cut it up into two shapes. All right, a trapezoid here. We're going to have a rectangle on the bottom and the triangle on top. See that? There's the triangle on top and the rectangle. So we're going to have the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle on the bottom. We're going to add these together to get the area of the trapezoid. Okay, what is the area of the triangle? Well, that's going to be base times height divided by 2. Well, the height here is 3. And the base, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to 3 times 6 divided by 2, because it's a triangle, equals 9. So the area of the triangle is 9. Now, we're going to find the area of the rectangle. This one's pretty easy. It's 6 times 2. You have 2 rows of 6, and that will equal 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. Now, add them together. 9 plus 12 is 21. So, the area 
of the trapezoid, 21 units squared. Okay. Now let's go on to our next problem, number six. In problem number six, let's graph these three points so you know it's going to make a triangle. Negative two up to M. Over four up to one, two, three, four up to N. Over four, don't go anywhere. That is point P. Now let's make our triangle. Connect the dots. All right, for the formula for the area of a triangle, base times height divided by two. So our base, we're gonna turn it this way so you can see the base is two. And the height is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to take two times six and divide it by two because it's a triangle. Here we go. Two times six divided by two. Twelve divided by two is six. And the answer is six units squared. Any questions? Just copy that down. All right, so now, what are you going to do for the rest of the class? You need to finish these problems, do seven and eight. Oh, in seven and eight, be careful, they are going by twos. Let's just do problem number eight real quick. I'll get you started on number eight. So, Q is negative six, four. Left six, see the little six, up four. That's where the four is, that is Q. R is 14, 4. S is 8, negative 4. And T is negative 12, negative 4. This creates a parallelogram. You're going to find the area of a parallelogram. So let's just do that here. Area equals base times height. So you have to find your base here. And remember, you're going by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And the height from the top to the bottom. Again, we're going by twos. Two, four, six, eight is eight. So you're gonna take 20 times eight to find the area of this shape. And then you will figure that out. All right, have a good day. Enjoy doing these problems. And once you're finished, you can finish doing your bell work. Um, if you want to do the back side of the bell work paper, you can. Have a good day.